well hello there everyone welcome back to another video it is i fernando's mermaid books and today i'm going to be showing you guys the 25 books i have finished for the month of august for the month of august i have read many short books i guess to get me started with my traveling that took place in september um it's like the middle of september i went out to the uk and i was like you know what let me read as much as i can now because i'm probably not going to read anything in london so i read a lot of really awesome books that i'm going to show you guys right now the first book that i read was the black pro by scott odell i have to say that books that have like water theme settings i absolutely love and this is a classic i believe about a boy who finds a black pearl and it is deemed the most rarest of them all and then there's this like monster manta ray that is like a legend of being one of the most horrific creatures in this story and it also takes place in mexico which i love the diversity so i love this a lot and then the second book I read was Volume 3 of Pokemon Adventures. This concludes the red arc of the series. Um, definitely getting on to Yellow's arc. I loved how this story went. It just follows red, green, and blue in their journey and how like they were just competing and battling out. And it's just an amazing story. So I love this a lot. The next book that I read was Pokemon handbook to the gallery region and this is just a guidebook to the pokemon that are in gallery region and i haven't played the video games yet and i'm striving to play the video games hopefully soon and i just wanted to have like an open like guide to learning about these new pokemon that are in this world and i loved it a lot it was so cute and i cannot wait for the games the next book I read was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Ginji's Rescue Team and I freaking love this standalone manga book about a human boy that turns into a Pokemon, a Torchic, and he is, becomes a friend with a Mudkip and they go on this journey to kind of save the Pokemon world from the evil that lurks um, and it has so much character development, so much friendship. And I just freaking loved the Pokemon aspect of it. Like there wasn't like humans involved in this. Maybe at the beginning of the story. But after that it was just all Pokemon. And I just thought it was so cute. And I loved the story a lot. And I miss playing the video game. The next book I've read was Kim and Kim and Love is a Battlefield Volume 2. This is the second book to the Kim and Kim trilogy. I freaking love this. This was better than the first one. We follow Kim and Kim. Um, Kim Quattro and Kim Dantzler. And they are amazing. I think one of them is bisexual and the other one is transgender. So I really love this story and I cannot wait for the final book. I just, oh, the amazing, it's like Star Wars, bounty hunters, like interdimensions and like badass women and just it's just so freaking amazing so love this a lot and i love the cliffhanger the next book i read was pokemon a friend like pikachu this was just a cute short book that i got for free um just enjoyed it it was about pikachu and just his amazing self so love this a lot the next book I read was After Squid Night. I thought this was more of a horror book, but it's actually a children's book, but that's okay. And this is just about squids that come into your house and start painting with their ink. So I really like this. It was very cute. I might read it for my kids one day, so I liked it a lot. The next book I read is The Boy, The Mall, The Fox, and The Horse by Charlie Mc McKessie. I actually really like this book. It's uh, more of like a spiritual poetry, um, uh, philosophical book about uh, four different characters and how they come together and they speak about like big truths and like struggles and getting by through this dark life. And even though it's all chaotic, there's always this sort of balance with good and bad and how they always go towards the path of good. And I really loved this. It was so beautiful. I think I cried in a few pages and it was just amazing. So I really recommend this to a lot of people of all ages. It's just a wonderful book to read. 
The next book I read was Anti-Racist Baby by Ibram, Ibram X. Kendi and Ashley Lukashevsky. I freaking love this book so much. It talks about racism in like more of a, like a baby's perspective and about like changing the world for the better and just making sure the new generations after us have that sort of knowledge to be anti-racist and just to love each other of all colors spectrums and aspects and just come together as one and it's just this has to be the most cutest book i've ever read and it's, it's a very important subject to speak about so i recommend this to everyone these are more like comic books so these are going to be very quick the first comic book i read was valiant very um ninja E. um don't know much about it i did read it it was a bit confusing but i feel like i need to buy the whole volume to understand it. it's just about a ninja who fights and then the next comic book i have is spider-man and venom you guys already know spider-man and venom i'm definitely buying the new volume of spider-man and venom venom is my favorite character so gotta know more and the new venom movie is coming out with carnage the next book i read was black and collects it these are two stories in one one is about war and the other one is about um living in a society where you know there's injustice so really big topics i really enjoyed that one and then the next comic book i read was sonic the hedgehog's 30th anniversary i love this a lot this is actually very cute and now i'm actually eager to picking up the series because it's i like the character development and the plot of this and i like it a lot so i know i was always a big pokemon fan you're either a pokemon fan kirby fan sonic fan zelda fan or Mario fan. I was always Pokemon, but I've played Sonic around my life here and there, but I feel like I'm just gonna pick up the story because the storyline is really good. So love that. The next book I read was Wear Gratitude Like a Sweater by Susa Talon. And this is such a cute book about being gratitudous, gra gratitudous, gra having gratitude. And just every page is so beautiful. And it has many famous people who have written beautiful like quotes like for example we have uh, which one do i know the most um muhammad ali me we or dalai lama my religion is kindness so sort of like those type of quotes and memoirs i mean not memoirs um quotes and poems and, and it's just beautiful so i love this a lot the next pair of comics i read was Earth's Mightiest Avengers uh, featuring the Hulk, just about the Avengers and Hulk and the new storyline that's going to be taking place. The next book I read was Star Wars The High Republic Adventures. I actually love this. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking the series up because Yoda's in here and this takes place before all the crazy stuff happened with the films. So I want to know more about The High Republic. Then I read Judge Dredd Arcade. This is just about like this world where it's policed very, very strictly and any small things, you, like any small law you break, you get automatically killed or something like that. So very interesting topic. Then the next comic I read, which I'm definitely going to pick up the book, is Bountiful Garden. It's about these kids who wake up from a cryogenic freeze very early on in their space travel tail and they have to kind of like survive and see what's out there and kind of like survive and i like it so i'm definitely going to be picking up the story um and then the next book i read was enter the house of slaughter this actually fall is a follow-up sequel to the uh, something is killing the children series i did not read that so this was a bit confusing for me but i kind of picked up where it kind of left off even though i didn't read it but it's interesting it's very interesting, but I feel like in order for me to understand this story, I need to pick up the first story. So can't say much about it because it's a bit confusing. So I need to pick up the original. The next book I read was All the Words Are Yours, Haikus on Love by Tyler Knott Gregson. And this is such a beautiful book about haikus. I think this is the first book I ever read with haikus 
centered around it. Um, I've read many books that had haikus, but this is the one that's centered more on it. And I really love it. It's about romance. It's about raw emotion and just, and the images are so freaking beautiful. Like there's like, for example, this, and that's actually my favorite page because of the little whale tattoo, which I definitely want to get. Um, but this is very beautiful. Okay, guys, the last comics I'm going to show you guys are the Bailey School Kids Vampires Don't Wear Polka Dots. I definitely have to buy this. This is actually um, based on an original classic novel, um, Bailey School Kids. Um, but I'm definitely going to pick up the Graffled novel because this is so cute. I love the illustrations and the kids and there might be vampires in this story. So very interesting. Then I read Ren a Girlfriend or Ren a Really Shy Girlfriend. I freaking don't know what to say about this one the story is very exaggerating but i like it so i'm definitely gonna pick up the manga and then the other story i read was a school frozen in time don't know much about this because it was only a small excerpt of it but very much gonna pick up rent a girlfriend it's just so exaggerating like so cute so i'm gonna pick it up then next book i read was the unfinished corner Oh my gosh, I definitely have to pick up the entire series. This is about, uh, not Greek, uh, Jewish mythology in a way. I think it's Jewish mythology or just Jewish religion. And it's about these kids who are centered around this like world full of like magical beings. And I've never read a story based by Jewish mythology or Jewish history. So I'm definitely going to be picking up that so I can be more educated and learn about their beautiful adventures. Then the next story I read was Last Kids on Earth, Thrilling Tales from the Treehouse. This is just a small short story about this character right here and how he is in this story, the leader, and how he has to save his friends because he is a smart tech genius and it's so cute and this, this doesn't have that much about the zombie role where as the whole entire series is about zombies this is more about him and his items and his tech knowledge so i really like this one and then the last book i read was allergic and this is just a standalone book which i'm definitely going to pick up the rest of is about a girl who is allergic to dogs and she really wants a dog but she can't because she's allergic to dogs and a lot of fur animals so she tries to find a way to get an animal pet or a companion where she's not allergic to so very cute okay everyone that is it for what i've read in august i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed it too as i keep saying keep on swimming my little mermaids until next time me and allergic say goodbye Goodbye.